Deftones, Be Quiet and Drive, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. This is an alternate standard tuning method. If you're not really worried about the drop D flat tuning, don't really want to mess with it, just want some basic chords and standard tuning, got you all set here. I'll play through all the different sections. After that, I'll go back through, explain what's going on. And before we jump in, please hit that subscription button. It's the best way of letting me know that you like this video and want to see more Deftones stuff in this style. And now let's get on to it. So as I mentioned, just standard tuning here. This is an alternate method of doing this. Uh, you know, typically we would be in our drop D flat tuning. And uh, so we're gonna be sacrificing a little bit here with like those low power chord vibes, you know, but uh, mainly if you're not really worried about that and you just want some straight up basic chords for like acoustic style strumming, stuff like that, uh, this will get you set. And, you know, same key, all that good stuff. Okay, so this intro section, uh, you know, typically he's doing some really higher voiced thing here, but uh, it sounds just fine if we're just down in this area where, you know, the rest of our chords are. And it's basically just part of a, an A flat major seven chord. And we're not playing like that full chord, but just kind of like the main parts of it, uh, where we'll do the A flat here at the four on the E, add the, the six on the A with it, and then we want this five on a D. All right, and we're just kind of straightforward, like strumming that four times. And if you want to add maybe a, you know, inc incidentally hit that open G under it, sounds good. All right, and then we just basically take that shape and drop it down a set of strings. So now we're at that, you know, part of a D flat major seven chord. So you know, same deal, four on the A, six on the D, have that five on the G. And with this, you can just kind of bar like the B and E under it if you want, and not necessarily focus on those, but you know, hit like those initial three. And if you happen to hit the other ones, it sounds okay. All right, and we just bounce between those two shapes throughout the intro and the, you know, pre-chorus sections. And it just starts basically in a D flat uh, major chord. So we'll do that here with the four on the A and then sixes on the D G B. All right, we just get our same, same strumming style, kind of one, one, and then some shuffles. Kind of arbitrary, loose, no big deal. You know, maybe just kind of following the drums. And from there, we just shift over to a B flat minor chord. So just bar the sixes and then add the eights on the A and D. All right, maybe give that a strum and then once more. And then we do this little bit where we'll do a pull off on the bass note here from the, the seven on the E, pull that off to the six. And you can just kind of, you know, arbitrarily, incidentally hit the, the rest of the, that minor chord, you know, the eights on the A and D with the sixes. You can just kind of hit that in the midst of you, you know, making that pull off. All right, and we do it twice. All right, and if that's kind of a, too tricky for you, you can also cheat a little bit, uh, do this where you just do like a little bend and release on that bass note of the six instead. 
sorry, up to you, um, either or. Uh, so just basically we just cruise between that D flat uh, major from the B flat minor with the little pull off. And uh, after we go through that, you know, a handful of times, then we do the, the little walk up, um, which is basically just that D flat and it makes it like a D sus four to a back to a, you know, higher part of the D and then back to the sus four. So it's just basically hitting the chord, the D flat. And then we add that seven on the B. All right, and then we want to come off and we want to really accent this four on the high E, you know, we can, and to get that, uh, you know, if it helps, you can just kind of let, let off of everything and just kind of make sure we're barring that four. And if you incidentally hit some, you know, fours on the B with it, it's not that big a deal. It sounds okay. And we just want a couple of those. All right, really just really want to emphasize the four on the high E. And then we just come back to that four on the B. And if you want to, you know, hit that four on the high E with it, that's fine. Just to keep kind of the fuller chord sound of it going. All right, and that's kind of the, just replacing that initial half. And then we continue with the second half that we usually do with that B flat minor and the pull offs. the big uh, outro interlude section where we get like the power chords and the scaling up all that good stuff and it, it actually works pretty well here and you know we'll start off by just hitting a power chord right at that D flat you know at the the four a with the sixes on the D and G there and it's just kind of a, a one two then we just deaden the strings do like one two hesitate one more so like all right so something like that that type of feel and we crank through that three times then we do this little chromatic scale up power chord and for this we'll just drop down hit an open low E if you can get to that open low E power chord and you're cool with that that's just fine if not you can just kind of hit the open low E and then just hammer it on to the F power chord here at the first fret with the threes on the A and D there So, and from there, all we do is hit that and then slide it up to the F sharp at the two and fours. Give it a couple strums. So just slowly 